no walking, let's go. Let's go. Time to clock in. Time to clock in, let's go. Come on, let's go. You know, it means a lot for, you know, a lot of my NFL friends to be here, a lot of my, you know, old college teammates. Uh, it, it means a whole lot to me. You know, I think that they understand the importance of giving back to the community, you know, and I think that, you know, our relationship is strong enough to the way they wanted to help me out make this thing a success, you know, but, you know, I couldn't have done it without them. You know, when they spoke, the kids were listening, they were really engaged, and they had terrific, terrific messages for them. It went better than I could have ever imagined, and I'm just happy that they were able to be a part of it and, and thankful. You gotta come to balance. You ain't got no balance when you blitz him. They're moving them, they're moving them. Play like a team. Play like a team. Play like a team. Talk about, talk about. About 80% of the camp was just them having fun, running around, racing, competing, because those are the memories that they'll remember the most, is the championships, the medals, you know, just winning, playing and having fun, making touchdowns, making an interception, making a big play for the person next to them. And, you know, I think that's what they get the most out of it. I think that's why they have so much fun. Man, I'm having a great time. The kids, they're having a great time getting better. They out here showing swag, out here having fun, man. It's a blast, great weather. What else can you ask for? Great day for football, let's go. You know, I think, I think one of the main things I did was just pay attention to my surroundings and, and surround myself with people that would only gonna make me even better. And I think, I think that alone, you know, kept me out of trouble, kept me competing to be great. And you know, when you surround yourself with great people, you know, you you, you can't you can't afford to mess up. You know, if you if you're accountable to somebody else, you know, you want to do better for that person, not only yourself, but you want to do better for that person. And I think that translates to the game of football because you are playing for your teammate. You want to do better for your teammate. You want to be in your gap. You want to make sure that you're you're there at all times for your teammate and nothing nothing breaks. And so that's why I say football is a game of life.
And they saying it's too far fetched. I'm just reaching to my goals with my arms stretched. No chains hold me back or resistance. I'm getting to the cookies like the night before Christmas. I made a promise to my mom that she never have to work. And the world would sing along to every lyric, every song. I'm trying to stand strong, but the big bad wolf trying to blow my house down. Wow, they said you got mad potential. I'd rather write a verse and put a hook on instrumentals. Told him go to school and work hard to be a doctor. He'd rather be himself than be another fake imposter. Monsters in your hand telling you to go the safe route. You looking in the mirror doing things you hate now. You all around trying to make your family proud. But you running out of time and you looking out of shape now. Wow, how many chances will it take to get to all my dreams and to be considered great? One life to live. Every day I see the light shine. Tomorrow's never promised. Every second is great. I think mostly I think they're learning that in, in all phases of life, you know, you can compete to be great and you can take that next step and, and it takes a lot of hard work and dedication and often sacrifices and I think they're learning from hearing the guest speakers, you know, from, from, from being out here, that's why I said their first step to greatness they've already taken just from being out here, just from being a part of this and just from, you know, doing the extra things, the extra things to, to be great. You know, I come from a rough neighborhood. In you know, I've been exposed to a lot, you know, drugs, gangs, and I could have easily been influenced. But I was fortunate enough to go to a program like the University of Florida and to welcome Jelani, to Jelani's family and his mom and them taking me in. And that's big, man. You gotta watch who you surround yourself with because you can easily do the wrong thing if you're not paying attention to who's around you. My coach always told me one thing you can't coach is effort. You can't, you can't coach. Either you got it or you don't. Y'all want to infuel that in y'all now. Let it start now. You know, growing up, I wasn't fortunate enough to have these type of camps. I didn't have NFL players come talk to me. I was the same little kid. We might have had high school people come talk, but you know, they wasn't big role models where I was from. They got locked up. They was into the wrong things. You had bloods, crips, drugs, the whole nine. So take advantage of this, man. Not too many kids get to experience what it's like to have a group of good guys like us come out and talk. And that's being real. You know, in Irvington, New Jersey, I've, I've never experienced that. And to get around you guys, man, it's amazing to see y'all come out here and work and grind. And that's what it's all about, man. Real, real. Family, trust, and surround yourself with positive people. It's key. Had I hung out with the wrong crew, I wouldn't be where I am at today. I wouldn't be here. I could have easily been in a, a gang. I could have easily got locked up. I could have easily probably been dead by now, surrounding myself with the wrong people. So I preach and, and pray that one thing y'all get from this, man, besides what AJ said, is keep in school first, man. Respect it. Keep faith alive and keep grinding. That's what it's all about. Y'all hear me? If you hear me, clap twice. If you hear me, clap twice. I'm gonna say two claps in a Ric Flair. Y'all know what that is? Y'all yeah. know what that is? Let me get two claps in a Ric Flair. That's all y'all got? Two claps in a Ric Flair. Oh. One more time, a little louder. Oh. Go ahead, man. Let's bring it in, man. Can I say it? You wanna say it? Yeah. Hey, say, fam say family on three, all right? Go ahead. Family on three. Family. There you go. He lost against us. That's it. Who was your team? The Redskins? I will let them know that, you know, anything is possible if you put your mind to it. And and that, you know, us NFL players aren't any anybody ridiculously special. You know, we're just we're just guys who worked hard and did it the right way. And you know, once they realize that it is doable and they have a foreseeable goal and they have a dream, they can accomplish it. I'm AJ Francis. I was Jelani's. I'm Jelani's teammate in Miami, and I was played against him in high school. And yeah, man, it's it's a good experience, man. Anytime you can come out here and talk to the kids, try to give them some guidance, put them in the right direction, it's a good opportunity. 
Yeah, I'm Jamar Taylor, um, Jelani's teammate too, down in Miami. Um, it's big, man. Jelani's first camp is huge, man. He has a good turnout. Anytime we come out here and give back to the community, man, it's great, man. So, you know, we're happy to be here. Uh, I had a great time. Um, I'm really proud of Jelani for putting on this uh, wonderful event. Uh, I really liked how he uh, incorporated an aspect for parents to help educate them, educate them on the recruitment process and how to really market and brand their child for their future endeavors and I think that was a really good tool for them. For the kids, I mean it's just like when I was here when Coach Malloy was running things. He deferred to Coach Malloy and his knowledge of how to run a camp. Kids had a great time. I saw kids flying around doing a lot of good things. It was just a really good feel, good family environment, a lot of support from friends and family out here and I really hope to you know be out here next year. Jelani's my youngest son, my baby son, um, a 23-year-old son, um, just somebody that um, from the very beginning, uh, from the very beginning, I just knew that there was something unique and special about him. Um, very quiet, smoking, soft, humble, yet very, very strong and powerful because you can use power like that for destructive purposes or they can be used constructively to help and, and to better the world. I had a 4-1 in uh, high school, so that, and uh, coming in freshman year, I had heard the name Jelani Jenkins a lot, and I didn't hear until my sophomore year that he had uh, about how high his academics were, and that, that's the year that I really started turning up on my academics and decided that I needed to do good academics for me to be successful, uh, to even come close to everything that he's done. You know, it's just the brand itself is a powerful thing, you know, so we want to Get, get his message across to, you know, everyone, all of his fans, and that, you know, to always be strive for excellence in academics as well as, you know, the field and just be great at everything you, you, you do, you know, be the best at it.